Yo guys, Joshua here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the world's first Nintendo Switch projector, the Ojo. When you open the box, you'll find the Ojo projector, packed very nicely with a power adapter and user manual. Since I got it off their Indiegogo campaign, they also added in a Switch cartridge game case and also a carry case. There is quite an assortment of I.O. on the Ojo and it consists of two USB ports, a HDMI port, aux out port and a USB-C port for power. On the side of the projector are the charging and projecting switches. The Ojo can be used as a power bank so you can push the switch all the way to the left if you would like to use it as a power bank and all the way to the right for projecting and you can also leave it in the middle for power off. On the top, there are four buttons. Two of these are for volume adjustment and the other two are for focus adjustment. There is also a small kickstand on the bottom to prop it up but it only goes to one position so if you want to project the screen to tilt it higher or whatnot you're going to have to use a book or other kind of cardboard or some kind of wood to prop it up. Now let's get to the fun part and see how it looks like performing as a projector for the Nintendo Switch. So all you need to do is Turn the projector on, slide the Nintendo Switch into the dock, and it works at once. Super simple plug and play. The screen on the Ojo goes from about 30 inches to 120 inches, which to me is pretty reasonable since most people only own a TV that's about say 55 to 65 inches. So yeah. Being able to go up to 120 inches, especially if you're with a huge group of friends like four players, you definitely appreciate the extra screen size and the screen width. The quality of the image is actually quite decent. I don't know if the camera is able to pick it up, but you can definitely play this very easily. You can see like all the maps and everything. So yeah, not bad. The built-in speakers on the Ojo can actually get pretty loud and they are very decent, so you can hear all the game, what's happening, etc. One thing to take note of is that there is a fan inside the Ojo projector that turns on when the projector turns on, so that it keeps everything cool. And the fan actually gets quite loud if you don't turn on the speakers to like a decent volume, and you can hear it whirring in the background. The Ojo is not just a projector for the Nintendo Switch, but it is a portable projector for anything that you can connect via a HDMI switch. So you can use it for quick presentations or even playing games on the PS4 or the Xbox, but you definitely won't be getting 4K quality from it. The battery inside has a capacity of 20,400mAh, so plenty of power and it lasts for approximately 4 hours when you're using the switch and other devices. So you can actually also use it as a power bank like I said before to charge your phone or anything that can charge through USB. The case provider manages to fit the Nintendo Switch, the Ojo projector, Joy-Con holder, power adapter and HDMI cable in. But that's it. I do wish it had a slot to keep like extra games and maybe some extra Joy-Cons or even the Pro Controller because if I want to bring this around and play with my friends, I would definitely want this extra controller so that we can all play like Mario Kart or Bomberman together. But I guess not having these slots helps to keep the case to a manageable size but yeah that's one thing i would really wish to see to put more joy-con slots in or controller slots in overall i picked this up at the early bird price of 269 usd and it's definitely not that cheap but for an all-in-one solution of a projector that has speakers built in and a power bank i do think that this is a very very good option out there that encompasses everything that you could want from a portable gaming projector. Alright, that's it for today. So leave a comment below on how do you play games with your friends? Like do you connect the Nintendo Switch to a TV or do you just play on the Nintendo's own small screen? Remember to like and subscribe for more of this tech gaming content and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!